caccia e cucina. Hunting and cooking are an eternal combination. A combination that stretches back to the dawn of time and which has genuinely helped bring about what we can define as human civilization. Not to be outdone, we at All for Hunters are at last going to talk about hunting and cooking. Let's start with a recipe that's a classic and which at this time, with the heat and the sun, is perfectly fitted to the season, the hunting season that's just beginning. The dish is risotto with quail. Let's check out the ingredients. This is going to be a special recipe in which we'll mix half beef and half ground sausage to serve as a filling along with the spices. The spices we'll be using are laurel, fresh sage, rosemary, thyme, a clove of garlic, which will also be used for other things, and nutmeg. All mixed together with parmesan, breadcrumbs to give consistency to the filling, eggs, salt and pepper. To cook the quails and season them, we will also use white wine, just 200 milliliters, and a lot of very light, high quality meat stock that's been filtered and flavored with celery, onion and carrot which we will use both for simmering and cooking the quails as well as for cooking the rice. We've talked about all the other ingredients, but the fundamental one is obviously the quail. Let's see what we need to do in terms of know-how, tools and hunting techniques to acquire our wild quail. Discussing hunting with pointer dogs and talking about double-barreled shotguns is pretty much the same thing. The latter is of course the classic gun used for what is perhaps the most classical and traditional form of smooth bore hunting. Here, we'll take a look at how this evergreen model has been interpreted by Franchi in the beautiful shotgun that is the Esprit. With its classic appearance, it boasts a beautiful English stock, which is finished in orange, as rifle butts used to be in the 40s and 50s. But above, we notice the beautiful finish that has been achieved, the streamlined design with the ultra-slender forestock. In other words, a gun of extraordinary elegance, to which the latest technology has been applied, including a safety switch with selector and a lock mechanism with a selective trigger serving both barrels, which is fitted with interchangeable choke tubes. We're talking about a double-barreled shotgun chambered in 2870 caliber. For what we'll see is an extremely sporty performance in the field, which can provide immense satisfaction, which you wouldn't expect until you've experienced it. So as they say when discussing good food, try it if you need to be convinced. As we can see, the rice is now cooked to perfection. We'll remove the lemon, which has served to add to the aroma, and give it that important touch of acid, and the quails have finished cooking. The stock has become more concentrated and turned into a sauce that we'll be using later on to flavor the rice. What stages have been involved? To recap, we cleaned and scorched the quails, which we then stuffed with a filling made of the ingredients shown above. We then tied them up with a strong thread and browned them off in a pan using a good quality oil, with a couple of cloves of garlic and the same herbs we used to flavor the filling. When the quails were well browned, we sprinkled the wine over them, added the touch of white wine needed to give it the aroma, and then covered them with the strained broth, rich in vegetable essences that we prepared in advance. 
While we were preparing the quails, we quickly cooked the rice, using a cooking technique that is extremely quick if you don't have much time. It still gives a perfect result. In this case, we use perfumed Taibone rice, which is very good, cooked in a good non-stick pan. The quantities are simple, a full cup of rice, three and three quarter cups of broth or water. Obviously, if we use the broth, we don't add salt, whereas if we use water, we add a little salt, and this gives a perfect result. And then we mix the dishes together. When everything is ready, so we can say it's absolutely finished and ready, we add an excellent fruity oil to bring out all the flavors. A dribble of agape oil, which we add raw at the last minute. And now, of course, as usual, it's best to test everything. Let's add a portion of quail to a little rice with a side dish of rocket. Simply dressed with the same oil we use for our preparations. As regards what drink to pair with the risotto and quail and side dish of rocket, I'd suggest something rather daring. An agrarian beer from Sasso Corvaro, the first Italian agrarian beer, La Cotta, here in its red version, with a light frothy head to seal the beverage properly from air and thus from oxidation. The head is always important in a beer. It's an important taste and is scented in a way that goes perfectly with game dishes that are fresh and tasty but not very heavy, like this risotto with quail. So good luck as always, and I hope we've given you a little extra something this time. Buon appetito everyone!